Martinsville round six and it's a rainy Friday. We'll see what's going on here. We've got Jacques Villeneuve in the truck race on Saturday. A year ago, if anybody had told me Jacques Villeneuve world champion would be driving at Martinsville on a Saturday afternoon in a truck race, I'd say your head's full of rocks, but then it's been a really wacky, really wacky season. It's been a wacky playoffs. We're expecting Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson to go head to head here again in this race, Sunday's uh, race from Martinsville, round six of the championship chase. But the way the playoffs have gone, I wouldn't be surprised if they crashed on Pitt Road and ended dead last. And Clint Boyer took a 100-point lead into Atlanta next week. It's kind of hard to tell what's going to go on in the chase from week to week. Right now, Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, and Clint Boyer are the three guys in the chase. Tony Stewart's almost 200 points down. He's a good driver here, but I don't know if he can make up enough ground in the next four races to, to make much of a difference. Um, we, as wacky as this chase has, has been, this, the whole season's been wacky. Now, Bruton Smith is talking about raising Charlotte Motor Speedway, Lowe's Motor Speedway, plowing it under, putting condos up, and moving the whole shebang to somewhere else near the Atlantic, near the Charlotte Airport. I find that totally ridiculous, totally crazy. Told him the other day in his office that he was just full of BS, and he said no, and then he laid out a very good plan for what he had what he had going. He's got some engineers looking, and if you think about it, Charlotte is in that area around Concord growing. Charlotte is one of the few areas in the country where the housing prices are going up. So I think there is a possibility he could do it. And Bruton's the kind of guy that when you play poker with him and you call his bluff, he's going to show you a hand. He might just do this just to tick people off. He's talking about a three-quarter mile Bristol. Now, anybody that's seen Bristol knows that if you made it just a little bit bigger, you might really have something. A three-quarter mile Bristol. I'm not so sure that that's going to work, but we'll see how that plays out. At, at, uh, at Martinsville, we've got a problem usually because it's so enclosed with carbon monoxide. Drivers tend to get gas. Some of the drivers, Dale Jarrett and Tony Stewart, get gas worse than others. Most of the people have figured out how to put good scrubbers into their cars to take it out. But some of those things are iffy, and if it breaks down, then they've got some problems. We've got... Um, We've got uh, 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 Bruton, Fr Bruton Smith um, doing his, uh, sh his deal with Charlotte Motor Speedway. I think one of the things that I'd be looking for if I were in Daytona, uh, if I were Jim France and uh, Lisa Kennedy France, I'd be hiring Bruton. I'd be hiring Bruton, and I'd be merging with Bruton. Uh, first off, I'd hire Bruton to run the Bush Series, the Nationwide Series, whatever that is, because Bruton can put people in the stands on, on Fridays and Saturdays. The uh, ISC people can't seem to do that. I'd merge if I were them. We'll have to see how that plays out. One of the big stories this week, of course, is Ray Abraham. I went to Montreal the other day and saw his new business partner, saw his new driver, Patrick Carpentier. Never heard of the guy before. 36 years old. He's a, uh, a buddy of Jacques Villeneuve. They grew up together in Montreal. They drove together. Jacques Villeneuve, because his father was the famous Formula One driver, Gilles, got the ride in Formula One, became a big star. Patrick kind of fell by the wayside, really took a sabbatical off last year to spend some time with his family because he didn't like what he saw in the IndyCar series, which he, which he was running in. I thought to Dominique Fugaris, who writes for the Journal de Montreal, and he's followed both of these guys for years and years and years. He's been going to a lot of races this year, obviously, because Canada is part of the new NASCAR uh, foreign uh, policy program. He says that Patrick Carpentier is like the Dale Earnhardt, the big E of that little series. He says that that's the Dale Earnhardt to Jacques Villeneuve as Jeff Gordon. He says it would be a nice playoff to see how those two guys play play against each other, and they do know each other. I talked to the driving coach, um, Ricardo, who was in charge of bringing up Patrick, taught him everything he needs to know. He was Gilles' teammate back in the 80s. They drove the form, uh, they drove uh, the 24 hours of Daytona. He knows the Villeneuve family. He, he's been babysitting for Jacques since Jacques was six years old. He knows Jacques. He says Jacques is so talented, he doesn't have to work. And that's part of the problem because if you don't do the work ethic in NASCAR, people tend to think twice about you. Jacques may be so incredibly talented, he can do it, but that's going to be an issue from what his driving coach said. I think that uh, the business partners that uh, that Ray have, uh, Ray has the, the, the the Gillettes, George Gillette and his son Foster, that's a class act. That part of this, uh, this merger is going to work. Now, if Ray can get his bunch up to speed, that's the question because Ray's teams this year just have not had the technology they need. They've been also Rands, and I think that that's going to be the key part of the problem is making sure that the technology works because I think the, the, uh, the Gillettes are going to make sure the business part works. 
Steve Mill going to DE, leaving DEI to go to where Hendrick Motorsports. He's been Dale Jr.'s spotter, June Bug on the radio. If you listen to law, I think that's a natural. It sort of surprised me when I found out that last night, but it makes a lot of sense. Um, we have the uh, Charlotte post race analysis. One more bit of information it was a bad week for Toyota. Brian Vickers didn't even make the race, he almost won the race in the 600 back in, in May. And I talked to Lee White, and he admits that they had to come crashing back to earth. I don't think that that's going to bode well for Toyota here this weekend because Martinsville is an engine track even more so than what we've got at, at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And with well, Jacques Villeneuve coming in, and Daryl Franchitti, and, and Patrick Carpentier, and all these people coming in, I'm, I'm wondering where Michael Schumacher is. We need to find out what's going on with him. I don't think he's running Formula 1 this year. Maybe we can get him in the Daytona 500 next year. And Alonso and... Um, and Lewis Hamilton, uh, they might have February off. I mean, if we're going international, let's go international. Anyway, it's a rainy Friday uh, morning at Martinsville, and we'll have to see how things play out. I might be back out here to give you some more tips on whatever's going on because this could be an interesting, uh, could be an interesting weekend. Mike Mulhern for the Winston Salem Journal and JournalNow.com, checking in.